So we have guests today, Bible Reloaded, some kind of fucking comedy duo faggots or something. I don't know. <laughs> the best. <laughs> anyway. A couple of assholes I invite on here. I hate them personally, but they're here anyway, so. Accurate. <laughs> yeah, we, we needed guests, but couldn't get anyone good, so here's these losers. <laughs> yeah. I'll just fuck with you guys. Um, so you, you guys is, uh, your guys' channel is pretty awesome, actually. Um, Thank you. Why don't you, uh, why don't you start off by telling uh, people about your channel, like, you know, the URL, and then followed up with a description of the kind of shit that happens there, you know? Okay, well, you can actually find us at BibleReloaded.com, and what we do is we're, we do a couple things. We're no, no, hold on, no, no, hold on, hey, 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 that's, that's, that's BibleReloaded.org or com. No, com. No, it's an org. It's dot it's com. A, I think it's a non-profit organization. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so it's dot net. Kids and shit. Right, gotcha. No. And there's okay, also so, a link so, down there, I'm pretty sure. And you guys, you guys make videos about uh, what? We do a, a couple things. The main thing we do is we're an atheist Bible study, so we read the Bible in chrono or yeah, in chronological order. We're going through and reading it from an atheist perspective. Yeah, so and that sounds and that sounds boring as shit, but it's a comedy show number one, so it's it's uh, it's fun, and we basically just hang out and we. Uh, it's not really a slam so much as uh, we'll talk about the Bible for five minutes and then we'll forget we're reading it and we'll talk about random pop culture things yeah. because so we're stupid. Let me ask you, uh, you guys have reviewed, I'm sure, tons of Bible stories at this point. What, what is your, uh, what's your favorite Bible story? I and mean, when I say favorite, I mean like the most ridiculous, the most absurd, the one you ha you've had the most fun just ripping apart, making fun of, riffing on, whatever else. The one we just did, we just did it recently, I forget the chapter and shit, but it's, uh, a man, uh, it's not Sodom and Gomorrah, but it's very similar. It's, it's Judges 19, Levite and his concubine. A man goes, uh, somewhere with his concubine, people show up at the door and they're like, hey, we're, let's rape you, and he's like, no, take my concubine, and, and basically pushes the concubine outside to the mob. Yeah. The mob rapes her all night, yeah. like, really hard. Violently gang rapes. Next morning, mob is gone, he goes outside, dead concubine, presumably he's like, fuck. I guess she got raped to death. And then he <laughs> continues to take, uh, the, the concubine's body. Onto the donkey, through the desert, back home. Cuts it up into pieces. And then sends her pieces out to the tribes of Israel. And then when those tribes get the pieces, you'd think, oh my god, this person cut up a concubine. No. They're like, holy shit, this person obviously was raped pre-dismemberment. We better get justice. Yeah. And he's supposed to be the good guy. It's a little confusing. I, I don't know why the rapists... Well the rapists are not the worst people in this story, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's, that's hard to top. Yeah. I like your guys' intro. I'm going to actually go ahead, go ahead and play your intro because I think it's pretty cool. Oh, thanks. Okay. And you can kind of maybe comment on it afterwards. Okay. Play the intro, Ben. Dead air. Dude, I'm doing it, you fuck. This is... <laughs> okay. <laughs> play the intro. Yeah. Are, um, are you guys uh are you guys formerly religious? I am. He's not. He was raised with I wouldn't say an atheist. His mom's not necessarily an atheist. He was raised without religion though, but I grew up as a Christian. Uh, and my parents know I do this. Sh know I do this show now too. So yeah. that's always fun. They're pretty cool though. Yeah. About it. I my mean, mom's pretty good with it usually. Yeah. Uh, your dad's basically like uh, Bill O'Reilly's cousin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so is my dad, but he doesn't know I do this show because I don't really. I haven't discussed fuck it. Fuck it. But um. Fuck it. Fucking <laughs> sucks. Uh, but yeah, and then I wasn't really raised in any religion, and I was kind of lucky. Um, it just they they never brought it up. It definitely wasn't an atheist house. By any stretch, because we, they certainly don't. I don't just don't think they ever thought about their place in the universe. I just don't think they're that interesting of people. So I don't think they were like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll, I met maybe your we'll mom. That sounds right. Yeah, yeah. 
My parents are dullards. <laughs> it seems like it's just like too damn lazy. It's like, we could think about that, but I really want some McDonald's. I'm just going to go to McDonald's now. You kids worry about that universe stuff later. Don't you ever think about the meaning of life? Nah. Nah. Big Game's Mac. on. Uh, think about after the game. I got high. And I, I know I got high because I was like, we should go to Taco Bell. And then I got up to go and I was like, we probably shouldn't go. <laughs> this isn't going to work out. Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to prison or die. Um, but he doesn't Taco think he was, out, he was on his computer. Home. He was on his computer in the living room just look, like watching YouTube and stuff. But then he walked over and he had a can of Ready, Ready Whip, like the whipped cream. And he looked at it, threw it in the trash, and then looked at me and goes, is that going to be okay in the trash? Like, it's not going to explode or anything, is it? <laughs> you were totally high. I just no, don't think not. you noticed. That's, something I would That's awesome. Like <laughs> no. What? You, you were dead serious. It wasn't like a bit. You were trying to be funny. You were like, seriously, 